think I was recording. <laughs> I think I was recording that whole time. <laughs> now it probably won't work. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. Okay, girls, here we go. So we are going to do these things called a composition of functions, a composition of functions. Let me show you what it's talking about. So here's one, two, three, four operations of functions. So these are your operations of the functions. The first one is a sum. What does that mean when it's the sum of two numbers? What are we doing? Right, so here it is. We're going to do functions, right? The f of x stuff, g of x. So what if you had something that looked like this? This is something we haven't seen before. What if you had that? What does that mean to do? Well, it means to take the f function and add it to the what? The g function. So a better way to write it would be like this. f of, what do you think? x plus g of x. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's do a difference. What does difference mean in math? Subtraction. Subtraction. So what do you think this is going to look like? F what? Minus g of x. All right, and again, what do you think this is going to be? It, it goes right from the sum. F of x what? Minus g of x. Very good. Yeah, you're catching on. Let's do a product. What does product mean in math? Multiplication. So this is going to be f. I'm going to put a dot. This is a closed in dot. And what, is, what do dots mean sometimes in math? Multiplication. So I'm going to put f dot g of x. And after you see these two, you should figure out what this is. What is this going to be? It's going to be f of x what? Times, times g of x. You'll see where this is going in just a second. And then we have a quotient. What is quotient in math? Division. Division. All right, so what do you think that's going to look like? F what? Over G of X. So if we break that down, what do you think is going to be? F of X, what? Over G. Very good. Over G of X. All right. That's pretty simple, isn't it? It's, we really haven't done composition. That's not really composition just yet. We're going to do a composition... Uh, maybe not even today, because I don't think we have enough time. Uh, but we'll at least do this, these um, operations, though, today, and then we'll get to the composition on Monday. So here's an example. Everybody got that stuff down? It's pretty easy. I'll leave that one up. Let's do an example. Um, it says you're given. So they give you two functions. They give you the f function, f of x function, and they say it's 3x minus 4. And they give you the g of x function. And they say that one is 4x plus 5. Right? They're just making it up. They're just giving you a couple equations, some random equations. And they want you to find each function, each of these functions right here. So the 4 that we did up there, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go f plus g of x f minus g of x, f times g of x, f divided by g of x. So that's what we're doing. So f plus g of x. And what is that? We just did it. We just wrote a whole bunch of them down. What is f plus g of x? It's what? f of x plus g of x. Right. So I'm going to write that down just so I know what to do. And look, do I have f of x? Did they tell me f of x? Yeah, absolutely. What is it? 3x squared minus 4. Yeah, this is really easy. I mean, I think you'll find it really easy. Looks confusing with all the parentheses and the f's and the g's and the x's and all that stuff. Plus what? g of x. Did they tell you g of x? Yeah, 4x plus, yeah, plus 5. And now, what do we do? Just add them up, right? So like terms, 3x squared plus 4x. Really, the only math we had to do was what? Negative 4 plus 5, which is? 1. Plus 1, and that's it. So that we performed the addition operation to those two functions. We just added those two functions together. That's all this is saying right here, okay? It just says, add these two together, all right? So what do you think the second operation is? Subtraction. Subtraction. So we're gonna go f minus g of x, which is the same as f of x minus g of x. All right, let's put those in there. So again, f of x, it's the same thing, right? It's given. This is what they told us f of x was. 
So it's 3x squared minus 4 minus, now you got to be careful on this. This is where you got to be a little careful. What are you subtracting? 4x plus 5. So what does that mean we have to do to that 4x plus 5? Uh, times by eh, put it in parentheses. <coughs> so don't just put minus 4x plus 5. It's not. It's minus 4x what? Minus 5, okay? So I got 3x squared minus 4. Again, what's this? Minus 4x, what? Minus 5. And we're almost done. 3x squared, add like terms, minus 4x. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. That's it right there. Couldn't be easier, right? It's just taking basic adding, you know, like terms together and subtracting stuff. You know, it's really Algebra 1 stuff, but it looks a lot more complicated, right, because of these notations that we're using that you haven't really seen before. That's what we're trying to learn. <coughs> Man, sorry. <coughs> oh, okay. I don't think I'm good. Hang on a second. Let me get a drink of water. All right, hopefully that helped. <clears throat> We're almost done, got five minutes. <clears throat> Foil. We are actually. <clears throat> He's absolutely right, we are doing foil. So let's do, <clears throat> come on voice, help me out. <clears throat> when did I start feeling like this? All right, here we go. What does this mean? It means f of x, what? Times g of x. We're using the same f of x and g of x as we've done this whole thing, but now we're multiplying them together. So if I take 3x minus, or 3x squared minus 4, which is f of x, and I multiply it by what? 4x plus 5, what do I have to do to both of those if I'm gonna multiply them? I can't just put a dot here, gotta put parentheses. And now this is why he said FOIL method. <clears throat> Do you see it? Let me take another swig. All right. So let's do a little FOIL method. It's been a while since you've done FOIL method. Yeah, first outside, inside, last. So 3x squared times 4x, what is that? 12x cubed. Good. That's the first. Let's do the outside. 3x squared times 5 plus 15x squared. Inside, these two right here, negative 16x. And then the last, negative 4 times 5, negative 20. Are there any like terms to add here? No, I got cubed squared x and a number constant. So that's it. What's that? It's not the quadratic formula, no. All right, let's do one more. All right, let's do one more. Here we go. So it's going to be f over g of x. What's that equal to? That's equal to f of x divided by g of x. They're just trying to get you used to this notation. That's all this is about. Okay, just getting you used to it, getting you comfortable with it. And um, so there we go. So f of x, what's our f of x again? 3x squared minus 4 over g of x, which is 4x plus 5. Really, there's nothing we can do to this. There's really nothing you can do, all right? But there's one thing you have to say about it. You do have a denominator. Remember what the denominator cannot be. Zero. Right, so what do we have to do? Figure out what does, what x is not, does not work for this. So I'm gonna go 4x plus five cannot equal what? Zero. So you just do the math. Let's do the math in our head, can you do it? minus five divided by four. So this is your answer, but this is also like part of your answer. You have to say, because this right here, if all you did was circle that, that means any single value of X would work for this, okay? But does every single value of X work for it? Nope, negative five fourths is not gonna work because negative five fourths would make this into a zero. So the combination between these two is your answer. We good with that? 
All right. <clears throat> yeah, we got quite a bit more to do. There's no way I'm going to need a whole entire class period. But I will show you what the assignment is if you want to get started. Because you should be able to do a handful of these at the beginning. So if you want to do a handful before the weekend, and um, then you won't have as much to do on Monday. <laughs> Nobody's writing this down? Come on. Just, just write it down now. No, I don't have my binder with me. All right, so this is your homework. It will not be due on Monday. Listen, shh. Hey, hey. It will not be due on Monday, but I will assign this on Monday. I mean, hopefully we'll be able to finish it on Monday and then I'll assign it. So I don't know how many of these you can do. You know, but you could probably do four or five of them is my guess. That's just a guess. I don't have the book in front of me. But try to try to get some of these done since it's fresh in your mind, and then we'll do the rest of them on Monday. All right, have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday.